Most people have a misunderstanding of how to keep the head still throughout the golf swing. With special guest Eric Corgono and myself, we're gonna show you one of our favorite exercises to ensure that you're staying in your posture through impact, that head staying still, and you're striking that ball clean. Let's get stuck in. Hmm. All right, Eric, so let's talk about the head movement throughout the golf swing, specifically from the top of the swing coming down into impact, mate. We see a lot of players, they'll film their swing from face on, they'll obsess about the movement away and towards and dipping and so on and so forth. But it isn't very often that I come across a player that when they're hitting a golf ball, they'll analyze their swing for the guys at home and they'll pay close attention to what their head is doing at the moment of impact, mm. right? Relative to where it started. Yeah. Okay? And I've seen a lot of your videos and they do a great job of kind of detailing this head on the wall drill where you put a shaft up against the head to maintain this throughout the swing. So what I want you to do is kind of run me through the benefits of that. Yeah, for sure. So let's take a setup there. First things first. So when we take a setup here, uh, we have forward bend, right? Mm -hmm. So if we drew a line up the back line from the down the line camera, we're bent over to the ground a certain amount, right? Our chest is a certain distance from the ground. Let's just say we're 30 degrees bent over. Yeah. What the best players will demonstrate, and that's, you can see that through this angle and the line on the front of the head, those mm -hmm. will go together. If you make a backswing up to the top and pause, we'll have maintained this angle of the torso here mm -hmm. and simultaneously maintain that head on the wall. Now, what does that mean? That means to keep your body the same distance from the ground, both mm -hmm. on the way back and through, your head has to stay where it started on this wall. Now that's true during the backswing. And if we come down through impact, as he works down through impact, we would see the same thing. The head stays on the wall. The body stays the same distance from the ground. Now, what does that enable you to do? That enables you to have this trail arm nice and bent, like we would see any of the good players. Mm -hmm. The trail wrist is still bent. The shaft is leaning forward, et cetera, et cetera. So you can relax for a second. So from a very common sense perspective, yeah. it would serve to reason if I want to hit the ball consistently solid, ball first, ground second, mm. would I, A, move myself closer to and farther from the ground the whole way? Yeah. Or yeah. would I try and keep that relatively constant? Yeah. Obviously we try and keep it relatively constant. Mm -hmm. And so just another way to look at that, like we would use on, on the camera a lot, Correct. if you let's take your setup one more time, is we would have, and you could do this with like your head literally on a wall at home. We would have an object right about like this on the forehead, uh, or you can have an object kind of straightforward pressed against the head like this, mm -hmm. have someone you know, hold a hand there, and the objective would be to hit and keep your head pretty much right on it. You can see when you're doing that, that forces you to do the turning and, and the tilting. Yeah. The tilting piece. And that's that's a piece that I really want to talk about is that from club shaft parallel in the downswing to this position here is like the importance of keeping the head relatively in the same spot as it was at address, whereas a lot of players they're doing this old number, right? They're yeah. coming up and out of it. They're trying to get a big draw, the right arm overtakes, and they remove the element of right side bend and the importance of that coming into impact, right? Yeah. Covering the ball, compressing the ball. Yeah, and it's it's the old like keep your spine angle thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so let, let's let's do that. Let's demonstrate one more time. That's perfect. Again, we're we're focusing on this angle here, mm -hmm. which is the back line angle, and the head on the wall, which go together. Yeah. Now, if we just go from here through the ball, let's just go through the ball. You can see now he demonstrates this beautifully, right? The head stays on the wall. The trail shoulders down. There's side bend. That's the only way that you can keep your body's distance from the ground constant. Mm. And golf is about what, right? Yeah. Low point control, arc right. height. So if you're a golfer who hits it solid and you could do that while moving around, yeah. beautiful. Yeah. One in a million. Love it. Most of us, mm. right? Like if we go play golf, what do, you, what do we want the most? What I want is consistent contact. Correct. Right. I want to hit the ball, so if nothing else, I want to hit it solid all the time. Yeah. And I know you've had players, you probably experienced this as well. The easiest way to do that is my left shoulder replaces my forward bend on the way down, mm -hmm. head stays on the wall. My right shoulder replaces my forward bend. Yeah. And then as a byproduct of that, yeah. Yeah. we get the, the right arm being bent, the compression, the solidness of contact, et cetera. And when you work through the hit, let's go into arms parallel again. What you may notice if you're not used to this, especially the neck tilt and the eye line, mm. you see the shoulder tilt and you see the eye line tilt, you're probably gonna feel like you're almost like head on a pillow, bent over a lot more compared to normal. Like your body's much closer to the ground if you're not yeah. used to that. Yeah, and I feel like so many players, they will try and hit a draw, for example, yeah. by making such elements as swinging a lot from the inside, right? 
feeling like they're staying closed off for as long as they possibly can. Yeah. But if they were to actually draw that reference around their head from the down the line view and have that idea that through the golf ball, I love that when you're talking about the shoulders replacing each other yes. as a product, now I'm starting to feel a little bit more crunch through this trail side, which in my swing, I know that's something that I need as well. Do you, do you want to hit, can you hit one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Even, and even maybe one where you stop kind of like arms parallel in the follow through, just to show a piece or two here. So this is a really good way to demonstrate it when, when arms, again, this is like, this is perfect. If you can get closest in the beginning, notice how the trail shoulder stays lower than the lead shoulder, right? The trail hip or the right hip is lower than the lead. Same thing, knees all the way down, tilted over all the way into the follow through. Mm. So there's no way that you could hit a ball. If you finish in that position, Yeah. there's no way you could hit a ball, finish there and have gone up, down, up, down, up, down yeah. the whole way. Yeah. And so I think from a training perspective, if you learn that as like level one, yeah. can you finish in that same spot mm. where I'm still tilted over in this angle? Yeah. That will have kept my head on the wall. Yeah. Just a different way to do the same thing. And I think just one little tidbit to add on to that would be all around uh, the importance of what you said with the eye line, because if golf was played from a horizontal plane, we stand up dead straight. I do this movement here or a rotation towards the target. My eye line is still level. If I add that right side bend, Great now visual. I'm in that position where my head from its original spot would have stayed up against the wall. And you can see as a result, now the low point was in such a fashion that was able to compress the ball. And, and that, little, that little visual at the end of the right ear lower than the left, the, the eye line down, the trail shoulder down, there should feel like there's a little bit of an active crunch going on in there. Yeah. And by the way, like the benefits of that are everything, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Club face control, solid contact, distance, height, like yeah. you name it, uh, you get it from that. Mm. Compared to, imagine me trying to hit the ball solid with my head going off the wall, yeah. my shoulder going high here. Yeah. Very, very difficult. How do I get down to the ball then? Correct. Correct. Lengthen right arm, lengthen right wrist, yeah. high dynamic loft, thin shots, inconsistency, mm. if that sounds familiar. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so the... I think a few people are searching that term, that's for sure. Yeah. So tying a bow on this for everyone, right? At the end of the day, if you are analyzing your own golf swing, you draw a circle around your head. You can do this from the face on and down the line. Just slightly post impact here, you would want to see within reason that your head is somewhat in the same spot. Mm -hmm. The more that you are moving out and away, well, therefore you are creating a condition with this club head and club shaft coming in, where it's just going to tend to lead to more inconsistency than not. 99.99999 times out of 100. Yeah, mate. Yeah. So what I want you to do is I'm just going to chip one more yeah. down there. I want you to place that golf club across Perfect. my head there. And I'm just going to map out the feel of getting the sensation of post impact. Now, I'd recommend everyone start off by doing this slow, just so you can get the feeling and then build up. Let's see how we go. That's perfect. Yeah. Expert level. Mate, that felt fantastic. I really felt that crunch through the ball. Low point was great. Love it. Appreciate it.